G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Once again, back out with me, good mate, Matty Reynolds. We've um, come up to one of the, the properties, Matty, you know, it's one of the farmers he's got. And we wanted to come further down the systems. You know, you saw those last couple of sessions I had where the bass were just non-existent in those upper reaches. So, you know, we've come further down the systems and we've trekked up a bit now. And uh, yeah, it's that lower lying, you know, there's more, there's more deeper pools, you know, there's more spots for fish to hold up. You know, if they're looking at making a migratory trip down or something like that, like, it makes more sense that they're going to be further down these systems. Um, anyway, I'm doing the normal, you know, chatterbait, just throwing the reaction, what I love. Matty, he loves his top water. He's got his, what's that? The chomper. Yeah, I call it the chomper. So the, a bit of a DIY lure there. So, so yeah, a bit of a chatter mixed together with a stump jumper. So he loves his, he pull something. He loves his crazy baits. But anyway, hopefully we get a couple. Um, yeah, here we go. He's uh, pretty, pretty overgrown. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get back up there. Oh, yeah. oh. What happened? You on? Yep. Yes, dude. What happened there? That didn't take long. I'm real happy for that to come up. In here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. That's why you have fishing buddies. A nice fish. Real nice. That's the first one for the session. On the old chumper. Working its magic. Yes. Real happy with that one. Didn't, <laughs> nice. didn't realise it actually hit me. I thought I may have got a snag, but it was just it taking it straight underneath. Good. Straight back down underneath his home. I think we're going to do the rest of the too. Oh, eat it, buddy. Oh. Yeah, to follow. It, um, I thought I got a little rattle as I was cranking it through there. And he scooted it off down that way. Yeah, we'll get a couple, eh? We'll get a couple. Uh, you win that round, buddy. You win that round. Got to be a bass in here, surely. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh, mm. oh man. I was just... I saw that, man. Beautiful. I was just going to say uh, I fell short. And I did it again. Grabbed it and it <sighs> that was that was rookie rookie chump shit. What that was. <laughs> Man, that sucks. I think if I'd have got it deeper on that first cast, he would have been more inclined to have crunched it harder. It was already a bit further away from him, you know. He's like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm almost like, well, is it the bait? They don't want that kind of bait. I think no. I think I just. I, Cook that cast, man. If I'd have got it in there proper. <laughs> Holy hell, look how look how many of these buddy birds I just got on my arm. <laughs> yeah man. I just walked through about 50 of them. Surely there's a fish over there, bro. Surely. Yep. What? Yep. Nice, nice bass. bass. Nice bass. Yeah, good one. And man, he just slurped that up, eh? It just felt like a bump to stick. Nice. Oh, he's a nice yeah, he's a good fish, man. He's a good fish. Nice, healthy bass, bro. Don't you do it to me. Bro, easily the biggest of the day. Yeah, look at that thing. That's sick. 
It's a nice little creek fish. As you can see by the water we're fishing here, like um, those last couple of sessions I filmed with Dickers where the bass just were non-existent. We've come further down the system. Like this is a lot lower lying. You know, it's dirtier, it's darker, it's deeper. Um, yeah, and we found the bass again. Yeah, just on the chatterbait, you know, typically my summer baits, I found out last time, you know, the fish in the creeks, they still eat that sort of bait, so that's my confidence bait, that's what I'm throwing. Look at the belly on her. Good one. Yes. Sounds like a herd of cattle walking through here. Surely not. I didn't know any better. I'd say someone's been standing up on here. Maybe to help myself get up through the river. There's no flow back in this bit. If there was flow coming under that log, there'd be a fish there. Oh dude, I'm gonna get belted off the back of this thing. This is gonna get crunched, dude. You can see where it flows under, it's a big uprising. Really? You can't, well, you can't rule it out. All right, session's well and truly underway now. We've got a fish each. That's sick, fish in new water. You know, confidence baits. I'm confident as now I've caught a fish, but it's going to be a mad afternoon. We still got a few hours up our sleeve. We've done the right thing, eh, Matty? Cost us a box, but it's worth it. Done it. <laughs> Here we go, this is sick. That looks too good not to bloody produce. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> that's going in the vlog. <laughs> You'll have people at home watching on the computer like. <sighs> So just uh, got my second for this afternoon. Very, very happy. Just uh, pitched her up next to this old water tub up here. And um, she's come out and absolutely golfed it. Did see a nice big boil. And uh, just kept it there on the paws. And she's just come out and smashed it. Gotta love it. All right, Matt, he's just got his second fish for the session. I know we're a couple hours in. It's sick. Like, we're just having a blast, man. Like, you know, this is typically not prime time bass summer, you know, fish smashing top water baits and stuff Ooh. left, right. Just sort of follow. Left, right, and center. But Maddie's just had a few rays up. This thing's like a, you know, shallow running diver, you know, so they, they swirl up on it and then just smash it. So, yeah, it's sick. Session's well and truly underway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I missed him. What was it? I don't know, I didn't see it. It's straight off of where. So you said? Yeah. Yep, missed him, man. Missed him. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, oh, get off of there, get off of there. He's a cracker, mate. <laughs> He's a cracker. Surely that wasn't the same fish. Beautiful. 
Oh, we're just gonna have to Real happy for us. winch him up. Happy for you. Dude, he's a solid bass. Bro, look at the belly on him. Yeah. <laughs> See, man, this is my theory of those fish that have made their way out of those upper, high, you know, the, the tops of those creeks. They mightn't get all the way to the brackish to spawn, but yeah, you know, look at that. Look at the belly on that thing. If that thing's not gravid and carrying eggs, I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. Yep, yep. Yes, Maddie, yes! Oh! oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> That's crazy! Whoa, shivers, Dude! I might just lose my rod here. Oh, I don't know what I just stepped off of, man, but I've just gone down a mile. Oh, be good, yeah. So check this out. I reckon this is the fish that hit me that first time. You can see I pinned him right in that lip. You can see he's tore a little hole back here. I think that's that initial hook up and he shook his head and it just didn't stay. You know, it tore a nice little hole. And that second time it's just pinned that fine flesh, you know, and it's got a nice grip. So he's, he's aggressively guarding that little bit of snag, you know, he's come out and smashed that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They're not huge, but look at the belly, you know. This is what I was saying. These are the sort of fish that you think are coming down to do their spawn thing, you know, they're, they're rowing up. But there's just no, there's no big flow. There's no winter flood. There's nothing that's going to get them all the way down to the brackish. But... <sighs> yes. Some good looking water though. Yeah, there's nothing to say yet. It's not close season yet, is it? September, October, November. Oh no, that's no. So no, that's cod. Yeah, bass is June, July, August, right? So it's close season, but you're allowed to be above the weir. Fair enough. If you're in the, that's the only thing that's going to be an issue is if. Yeah. So all right, here. So all right. So for you guys, I should film this properly. What, what, no way. I was on. Have I got? Oh, did I have that rolling still? No, I turned that one off. I just stopped because Maddie and I were talking about bass close season, Mary River cod close season, how it all works. So I figured, oh, oh he's chasing it. Yep. Oh. oh. I'm going to get him. This camera's right. I've got the chest camera rolling. I should have Maddie in the shot. I'm talking to you guys. So technically, it's bass close season now. So July, August, September. June, July, August. Yep. Now, don't quote me. Now, I'm, I'm all excited. Anyway, so the bass close season equates to the waters downstream of the weirs. So technically, where we are here, back of Bowie, we are legally allowed to still fish for bass in what the close season is. You're above the weirs. They've you know, come to the decision that those fish aren't going to be down in, in an area spawning. So why not still target them? What happens is when you then throw in the cod close season, so Mary, uh, Murray cod, East Coast, Marys, they all fall under the same cod closure. When that season is closed and the bass season is open and we're up here chasing bass going, well, we're chasing bass, inevitably, depending on the little stretches and systems you're in, you're probably going to come across a cod. Once you pull them off a nest, you know, there's a lot of evidence to say that they don't go back to the nest. You know, the babies die, which sucks. So in saying that, tep you know, typically the last few years, I haven't come up here during the cod close season even though I'm legally allowed to chase bass, because I don't want to be, I don't want to, It's just ethical. Yeah, you don't, like Matty just said, it, it is, it's ethics. You don't want to be pulling those cod off nests. The more we fished up here, you know, the more I fished with Matty, you know, the more talks we have, the more discussions we have at LAFMA meetings and stuff. It is apparent that certain systems, which they're discussing about closing to a full no fish close season next year. So next year, when it comes to season close, no fishing whatsoever, no line fishing, in those systems for the whole closed season so that's all on the table they're discussing that but like i said as it stands now it's bass closed season we're above the weirs we're legally allowed to be fishing up here it's still not cod closed season so you know it's getting close to the fact where they might start nesting up yep. but these lower lying systems don't seem to have the population of cod as those upper yeah. Very, very far in between. Oh, that big mud sucker right in the shallows here. Oh, I can see. Oh, we're going to get back to fishing. Hopefully that clears it up. If that wasn't as clear and concise as I was hoping to be, the excitement's got to me. Hit us up in the comments. I'll, um, I'll answer any questions on that topic anyway. So let's get back to fishing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But 
this bass pull through here. Can have a look. So they form and they get all different sizes. Oh wow. What are they called again? And they come in all sorts of colours and stuff, eh? Yeah, I get them as a you find another one? Yeah, real good one. Look at that. It's pretty nice. You can keep that one dry, but it's like a hundred. It just looks too good, doesn't it? There's current, there's undercut, the shade. All right, that's about as far upstream as we're going to fish for this session. We're going to hit a few pools on the way back down to the car, and then there's a couple pools below the car that we're going to hit. But I reckon I've got enough content there to, to split this session. So I'll film a quick closer here just in case I do. Um, you know, if you like that and you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, hit us up in the comments. Um, you know, if you, you haven't subscribed already and you, you like it or you want to see more content, you know, make sure you subscribe. Um, Anyways, I'll throw all that together. Um, barring we don't whack a few on the way back down and that's the end of it, well, this will close it'll do or you might see some more footage. But uh, anyway, cheers for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.